Now, the first thing I notice when I see these answer choices is that we have both a colon and a dash. And since there's no other dash anywhere here, that's probably a sign that both are wrong. The dash can replace a colon in lots of cases. Um, it's it, If it's two dashes, then it's behaving more like two commas or two parentheses. But when it's just one, it kind of functions like a colon. We would need a sentence beforehand, then we could have the colon or the dash, and then we have some flexibility with what comes after, but that first part needs to be a sentence. So I'm not gonna instantly cross out B and C, but this is certainly on my mind. And regardless, since it is a punctuation question with these heavy punctuation marks, I'm gonna read this thing thinking about sentence structure. Where do sentences begin and end? Where are the, um, the interruptions? So let's just dive right into it, it's a long sentence. In 2008, two years after the death of science fiction writer Octavia Butler, the Huntington Library in California received a collection of more than 8,000 items, including Butler's private notes, research materials, manuscripts, photos, and drawings. So there are a lot of extra clauses here. We have the intro in 2008. Um, then we have, I guess, an appositive that kind of describes it. Two years after the death of science fiction writer Octavia Butler, uh, the Hunting Library in California received a collection of more than 8,000 items. And then we have an, a list at the end that we can get rid of here because it's just extra. So that goes too. So really our, our sentence is just this. The Hunting Library in California received a collection of more than 8,000 items. I don't know. To me, I hear that that just is a continuous thought. So I don't need any punctuation. It's certainly not a sentence, right? The Hunting Library in California. Can't stop there. So that does get rid of both of these choices. I don't, the only thing I think people might do with a comma here is you're, you just kind of, um, maybe you're seeing a bunch of other commas and that maybe tempts you, or you do realize that when we have like a state in, in the country, like we sometimes put commas around states and cities, but that's just not happening here. So it has nothing to do with that. In fact, we don't really test that on the SAT. So yeah, to me, remember a comma is where we attach an extra clause to a, a, another clause. This is all one clause. This is all one continuous thought in yellow here. So no reason to break it apart. Just keep no punctuation there and you're good to go.